ever wondered what it takes to survive, not just endure, but truly thrive in the unforgiving, arid expanse of the Sahara Desert? It's not the faint-hearted who conquer these sandy waves. It's those who possess an indomitable spirit and a thirst for adventure. In 2005, a significant event took place that tested the limits of human endurance and resilience. A daring expedition known as Escape to the Legion. This expedition was not for the average individual, but for those willing to push their physical and mental boundaries. Bear Grylls, a man synonymous with survival and adventure, led this expedition. Alongside him, 11 other brave souls took on the challenge. They were not just mere participants, they were recruits, ready to experience a condensed version of the French Foreign Legion's basic desert training. This training, known for its rigor and relentless discipline, was to be held in the heart of Sahara. The stage was set. The desert was not just a backdrop, it was an active participant, a stern teacher, ready to impart its harsh lessons. The training began with an introduction to the basic survival skills. How to find water, the desert's liquid gold, was taught first. Next, they learned how to secure shelter, a shield against the desert's blistering sun. They discovered how to navigate using the celestial bodies, the desert's stellar compass. The days passed, each one more challenging than the last. The desert showed no mercy and neither did the training. The recruits experienced the true meaning of endurance as they trekked through the endless sand dunes under the scorching sun. They battled dehydration, fatigue and the relentless desert winds. Yet they persevered. They learned how to adapt, how to survive, and how to rise above the harsh circumstances. They were molded by the desert, shaped by the training, and transformed by the experience. The key events of the training were not just physical challenges, but also mental trials. The recruits had to dig deep within themselves to find the strength to continue. They had to fight the desert, but more importantly, they had to fight their own doubts and fears. The training reached its climax with a final test, a grueling trek across the desert. This was not just a test of their survival skills, but a test of their spirit, their will to endure. And so, the escape to the Legion was more than just a training exercise. It was a journey of self-discovery, a test of human resilience, and a testament to the indomitable spirit of adventure. In the end, those who survived were not just survivors. They were warriors. They emerged from the desert not defeated but victorious, carrying with them lessons of resilience, endurance, and the true meaning of survival. Remember, the desert does not discriminate. It challenges all equally. It is not the strongest who survive, but those who adapt. The Sahara taught them this vital lesson, a lesson that they will carry with them long after the sands have settled. And so, the Sahara, the desert of deserts, had once again proven its might. But it had also proven that the human spirit, when pushed to its limits, can achieve extraordinary feats.